Hey guys, Lugia Master here, and today I am back with another reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to the FNAF Security Breach Ruin DLC trailer. This came out a couple days ago. I was supposed to react to it on the day it came out, but something came up, and then, yeah, I'm doing it now. So, better late than ever, right? So, without further ado, let's play. Alright, very creepy music. We have a girl, Cat. Oh, Cassie. Interesting. Here the pizza plex, or what's left of it. I don't have time hmm. to go into how I got here, but you've got to help me out. Hmm. Save me, Cassie, please. It's so dark. Out very there. destroyed. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it makes sense that it's very destroyed, but you know, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Gregory, run! Oh, there's Monty. Monty again. Okay. There's Chica. That looks like Freddy. There's Roxy. Up, oh, Sun and Moon. Okay. Then whoever the hell that is. <laughs> Don't give up. What? Up on me yet? Wow, July. That's really soon. That was a pretty good trailer. Now let's go through this bit by bit. Okay, so here we have Cassie. I'm assuming that this is Cassie. I mean, it can't really be anybody else but Cassie. So this is a character I'm assuming we play as. Cassie jumping into the pizza plex, it seems like. Either that or she's jumping outside of it? Yeah, that has to be... She's jumping out of of the pizza plex it seems like maybe because that seems to be I, I don't know I don't know hmm okay so we move here we got some bits of the inside this is clearly the lobby area like the entrance where you get the tickets and whatnot all right over here we've got I think the kitchen, though. This is definitely the kitchen. I, you got some food there. You got a bunch of, you know, carts there with that wood hood trays. Um, this seems to be one of those tipping birds or whatever. You know, where you tip it in water. It, it drinks. It's all physics-based or whatever. Yeah. All right. So then we have a shot going through here. I'm not completely sure where this leads to it. I want to say kitchen, just because of the tiling, but I don't think that's it. Um, alright. We're gonna... Okay, so obviously we play as Cassie and we're trying to rescue Gregory. I mean, I think that was implied based on the poster that we got before. And this does take place after Security Breach, rather than... A prequel like some YouTubers are thinking that this might be taking place. So we got a bit of Monty's Gator Golf, it seems, to be here. Yeah, you could tell because of the carpeting. I think I think this is, yeah, yeah, Monty's Gator Golf because, yeah, also there, yeah. there You got a little hole there. Um, all right, zooming in. This is probably part of the entrance area too it's one of those things that leads to that probably the price counter store or whatever um you got more of gator golf you got some kind of like water going through monty um not exactly sure where this is um but you got parts and service fragile stuff you got a busted up worker animatronic and then here we have the daycare center save me cassie please and we have the entrances to the atrium or the elevators that take you to the atrium um okay so we have the cupcake here 
Not sure what the significance of this is, but maybe to give it more of a creepy vibe. And we have Roxy looking um, really shattered. Really, really, really shattered. I think some people are saying, based on thumbnails that I was seeing, I think some people were saying that Roxy is good. I don't know. Seems like she's evil. Just saying. All right, Cassie has this device that we're going to be using to access different tools or different machinery and whatnot. So laptop, it seems like also a device for something that I don't know what it is. We also have endoskeletons that seem perfectly fine for some reason. Up oh, there's Chica, extremely shattered. All right, if we scroll through here a bit. All right, so the cameras here are gonna be grayscale, it seems. So let's see, this has like a FNAF 3 kind of vibe here. Let me explain what, because we have this intercom thing. So it seems like we're gonna be using this intercom to distract animatronics. So there's, I, I don't see how Roxy's gonna be helping us. At all, I think all the animatronics are bad in this, including Freddy. So this is a device that we're going to be using throughout this game, it seems like, or throughout this DLC. Might be a save point. It could be a save point. Not sure, but yeah. All right. And then we have a little walkie-talkie that we're using to communicate with Gregory wherever he is. It seems he could be trapped in some small space or digitalized or something i don't know i'm more so thinking he's probably trapped in some space where he can't get out of i mean either way he's trapped somewhere but yeah anyway we have another worker animatronic i mean okay security bots or whatever you know we got monty here a uh, very, very shattered. It, uh, this is the most shattered animatronic we have so far. We have more to, I think, Monty's Gator Golf, it seems. And there's Chica again. This seem, I think this is that sweet shop that we can go to that really wasn't necessary and was just kind of out of the way. Because you got the little candy swirls here and there. Um, Let's see. All right, we have Cassie fighting off Monty. Then we have Chica on a conveyor belt. Um, we have what looks to be a ruined Freddy, shattered Freddy, I should say. Yeah, this seems to be shattered Freddy, so, all right. Yeah, I just don't see Roxy being good. It seems like we're going to be fighting all the animatronics here. I mean, I'm not saying that that's what other YouTubers are saying. I'm just saying based off of the trailer, the thumbnails i was seeing like she's good and this is the star of most of these reaction videos i've been trying to avoid this guy sun drop and moon drop this seems like we're getting both of his personalities or well we're just seeing the true colors of this animatronic so because you got bits of sun, you got bits of moon. This might be the most dangerous animatronic. As well, I was going to say, aside from Monty. But yeah, this might be the main baddie that we're watching out for. And then... Hold on. It seems like we're putting on some mask. Oh, it looks like it might be Vanny's mask? Maybe? Maybe? 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I think it might be Vanny's mask. Maybe. I could be completely wrong. And it could be, in fact, an animatronic mask, but it does seem like this is Vanny's mask, most likely. And then we have whatever this thing is. Hold on. Just kind of glitching. It's hard to tell what this is. Or who this is. Might be Vanny. I doubt it's Vanny, but... Um... Damn, it's really hard to tell. I'm sure we'll... Get more soon. Or this might be it. This might be all we're getting until Ruin comes out. Maybe we get something, one more thing. But other than that, I don't see anything else happening. Also, I'm not going to lie. This kind of looks like the those creatures that you fight in Berserk. That 1980s game. Was it 1980s or 1990s? I think it might be 1980s. Basically, it's like that first video game to ever, you know, talk to the player. Like, break the fourth wall or something. According to peop what people have said about it. I don't know. I just find that kind of interesting, how it kind of looks like that. At least this bit does. I mean, the rest of it clearly doesn't. But this bit of it kind of looks like that. Sort of, I guess. <laughs> um, anyway, this was a very lovely trailer. Lovely. <laughs> this was pretty cool. It does look like it's going to be way more terrifying than the main game. Why did I just do that? <laughs> it looks like it's going to be way more terrifying than the main game. So... <laughs> Anyway, if you guys liked this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the Creepy Cat Army. Click that bell icon for notifications so you'll be notified whenever I upload or go live. And I will see you later, recruits. Peace out.